Welcome back to our next video about logic. I hope it's logic for you what I explain now. Huh? Because actually I try to explain logic. Let's start with a logic uh, uh, circuit. A logic circuit is something yeah, with a bunch of inputs and a bunch of outputs. Yeah? And the outputs are derived from the inputs by some logic which is inside the logic circuit. A simple logic circuit, there the outputs are just derived from the current state of the inputs. Yeah? So there is an input pattern with true and false, zero and one. Yeah? This is resulting in an output pattern. This is simple logic. Then there is a logic which can store something. So there is an input pattern yeah? and the output puts are derived from the input pattern and also maybe from some previous conditions which are in stored inside, inside our logic circuit. Yeah? So this is a logic circuit with memory. Okay? And then there might be a logic circuit uh, where the outputs are also derived from the input, but also with some time. Yeah? So this is a time-depending logic circuit. Maybe a very simple logic circuit would be a logic circuit and the input, if it, the input is there, the output is there. If the input is not there, the output is not there. Okay. Simple logic circuit. A more complex logic circuit would be logic circuit, output is zero. Input is one, output is one. Input is zero, output stays one. Input is one. Output is zero. Input is zero. Output stays zero. Okay, so this is actually uh, stored. So would be I don't know somebody for of you to for sure have such lightning where you press a button, then the light goes on. To press the same button a second time, the light goes off. Yeah? Logic circuit with memory. And the next possible thing would be output not there. Zero, input one, output one. Yeah. Input zero, output stays one. And after some certain time, book, output goes away without input. Yeah. Like a floor lightning or a staircase lightning. You press the button, the light goes on, and after two minutes, it will turn off. Yeah. So logic circuit with time depending things inside. What is always is that our logic circuit is built somehow from base elements, logic base elements, yeah, base items. And there are a bunch of base, base items yeah? and I want to tell you now some base items. Okay? I will draw them on a sheet below here, yeah? so please follow me. The first base item I want to show you, the symbol is like this. One. Okay. There is a, an input, yeah, X, there's an output, Y. Yeah. And the logic, the logic, uh, equation is y equals x yeah? and there is also the table of truth where there is x and y and if x is 0, y is 0, if x is 1, y is 1. Okay, That's the first element, our first element. This is called identity. It's pretty much, the output is the same as the input. This is not only stupid, yeah? this is logic, because there are several voltage levels and so on we will see. So if we have here 3 voltage, 3.3 voltage for instance, and need here 5 voltage, 5 volt voltage, it's okay. Yeah? Then we do have a not. Yeah? Not. 
looking like this. Same symbol, but now here's a little bit a small circle. Yeah. Such small circles do usually invert, invert the, the things. X and Y. And the logic circuit is Y is, and now, not X. X squared, it's called. Okay. Not X. The logic table, or the table of truth, if x is 0, y is 1. If x is 1, y is 0. This is a knot. Okay. Then, with one input, I cannot do more. Yeah. So, the next base element, the next base element is an AND. Huh? AND. Hmm. Looks like this. Symbol. There is an AND symbol inside, okay. it has one output and two inputs. Okay. So there is not only one X, there is an X1, there is an X2, and there is a Y. The logical equation is X1 and X2. I write it like this, I know there are special symbols for it, I will explain it afterwards why I write it like this. And the table of truth, x1, x2, y, so we have a 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. The only position where y is 1 if both inputs are there. If only one or no input is there, the output is 0. So this and this input needs to be there. And. Okay. Then there is the or. Yeah. Then there is the or. There the symbol looks like this. Also two inputs. There is a Y. There's an x1 and an x2, and here the logical equation is x1 or x2. Yeah? Look like a plus. And the table of truth, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Here, if one or the other or both are 1, y is 1. Okay? This is the table of truth. So we have a not, we have an end, we have an or. Next one, maybe. <laughs> no, there is no maybe. Yeah. The next one is a so-called NAND. Yeah. Not end. Okay. What does how does this symbol look like? It's an end, two inputs, and then there is a not. Yeah, same circle like before. So this actually means before the circle here it's an end and after the circle it's, it's exactly the opposite of an end. Yeah? So logical equation x1, x2 yeah? and then not. x1 and x2 and then not. Table of truth, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. If this was the end, the end is exactly the opposite. So this is 0, and here we have 1. Okay. Exactly the other way around. Where the, there is an end and an end, there is an OR, and there is an OR. Okay. So the next one, an OR. Symbol, logical, or symbol, and then this little circle. Yeah. There's x1, there's x2, there's a y, there's y is x1 or x2, and then whoosh, inverted. Yeah. 
table of truth x1, x2, y, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. This was the OR. The NOR is exactly the opposite of this. Okay? Basically, these are the, the most common base elements. Yeah? Most common base element. Uh, there are two more. Yeah? These are the most common ones. Yeah? Identity, NOT, AND, OR, NAND, NOR. In German, it's Identität, NICHT, UND, ODER, nicht oder, ah, nicht und, nicht oder, of course. Yeah. Well, and then there are some, yeah, I'll write it down simply. Yeah. There's the equivalent, yeah. looking like this, equal. x1, x2, y. The logical equation, maybe you can read it already, y is x1 and x2 or x1 and x2, not x1 and not x2. Okay. The table of truth, x1, x2, y. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 is only in case if both are equal. So here they're both equal and here they're both equal. And here they are 0. Yeah. So this is equivalent or an x nor. Yeah. Exclusive not or. Yeah. And there is also exclusive or which looks like this or antivalent x1, x2, y and y is x1 and not x2 or not x1 and x2 okay. table of truth x1, x2 y 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 only if they are different so not here not here but here and here yeah. then the output is true exclusive or or antivalent okay these are the extended things i would say yeah. then there would also be the inhibition but this is already pretty the symbol looking like this not okay. this is already I would say a logic circuit almost x1 x2 y and y is x1 and not x2 okay table of truth x1 x2 y 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So only if x1 is here and not x2 here. Here and here and here it's 0. This would be this symbol. Inhibition it's called. Uh, for me this is not that important. These two are maybe important, but you see we can build them with ands and or. Yeah? We can build them, we can build this also, even the symbol is built here. So the base elements are really these. Yeah? Identity, not, and, or, nand, nor. Yeah? These are the base elements, the logic base elements. In your script you have them as well. Yeah? You should know this. Yeah? You should know the symbols, you should know the table of truth, you should know the equations. Yeah? And now look back at me. 
and according to equations. Next time, next video, we're going to talk about those equations. Yeah? Why they look like this. We are talking about the Boolean way of calculating. Yeah? Calculating with truth, truth values. Okay? And there I'm going to explain why I'm using these symbols and not the logic symbols. For this video, well, I think it's enough. These are the base elements. A logic circuit is built out of base elements and can do something. Yeah? Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.